If you're expecting an email and are afraid it might have gotten caught in the quarantine, you can do one of two things. You can wait until you get the daily quarantine email and see if it's there, and if it is, you just simply click the Release to Inbox link to have it go directly into your email inbox. If you don't want to wait, you can actually check the real-time list of emails that are getting caught in your quarantine by going to the district site and clicking Employees, then scroll down and click Office 365 End User Quarantine. When you do this, you may or may not be prompted to sign in. If you are, be sure you select your work or school account and then enter your full email address and your Office 365 password. Be prepared because the first time you come to this screen in a day, it takes quite a while to pull all of this information in. So be prepared to wait as much as a full minute before you see anything. At this point, you can see all of your messages for the past 93 days that have been caught in the quarantine. If you select an email, you'll see some information over to the right about it, or you could click the pencil to see the message details in a pop-up window. This does give you the information about exactly when the email was sent and why it was sent to quarantine, because in this case it thinks it's spam. I can release it to the inbox or I can release the selected message to my inbox and report it as a false positive if I wanted to. Another thing I could do is just simply click this second icon to immediately release that to my inbox. And I'll go ahead and say release selected message. It asks if I'm sure and I say yes. It's going to take a second and then it will send that to my inbox. My other options are to do an advanced search. So rather than dig through every single one of these emails to find the one I'm looking for, I could use the advanced search tool to look for a specific email. If I have this screen up for a while and I want to check to see the most current emails that have been caught by the quarantine, I can hit the refresh button and it will pull the latest emails.